All right, coming to you live and direct. It's Auto Mods. And what it is, is take a picture of it and see see where it all those little fittings fit, so you will not forget. Right. You want to at least keep them in order. You want to keep them in order, right? In the, in the right direction. In the right direction. And going to the right, whatever it's supposed to go to. Right. Okay, so here's the tank. This tank is, um, what, 30 some odd years old? 85? So it's, what, 32 years old? If it's never been worked on. 32 year old gas tank off of a 1985 South Wind uh, RV. I'd say it's about 150 gallons. What do you think? I'd say it's closer to 100. 100. Well, the one that was standing up at that uh, park was 150 gallon. You want to pull the thing? You want to pull it? Is there some numbers on it? We'll see. We'll see um, the screws are loosened, though, if you want to take it out. Here? No, I mean, no. no, it's rust. I'm going to sand it down. There might be though. a tag on here. There might be. Point. There might be. Why don't you pull that um, bobber out, though, with the sock? Cause I don't know how to do it. Now, so he was saying, when you take this out, we got the, we got the screws and everything already loose. No, take them out. Remove it. Make sure you keep up with your screws, of course. Make sure you get them in the dirt, so you uh -huh. so you don't have to worry about where they're at. You just gotta go find new ones. Right. Ooh. You don't need them, right? You don't eat with them, but yeah. You and could. we had the sponsorship, and the tools were provided by Curtis. He's not in the film tonight. Hopefully, I can get him his way to go to the car wash tomorrow and help me uh, sandblast this uh, interior of the tank after we. Uh, well, that probably won't even be tomorrow. It'll probably be a week from now when we get to that part of it. Mm, we gotta have this we done. gotta put the chemicals in first. We gotta get this done. Yeah, we gotta get this done. But this don't stop us from going out. Oh. See how I lift it up? Oh, oh. okay, yeah. See this? Yeah. Gotta be real careful of that. See, that's all crystal eyes on it. See how it's shiny? Ooh, ooh, ooh. What? Yeah, look at this rust, dude. That's bad. That's what the bottom of the tank looks like, like that. Yeah. Yeah? That's a little sock. A little sock on it? Yeah. That's the sock he was telling me about. Yeah, a little sock. That's why I let him do it. That's a professional at showing you how to do this. This is less than five minutes. We just showed you how to remove that. And see the bobber? That's Actually, what tells you. It was you. like this. And so the float comes up and goes down. Just like sometimes, a toilet. Sometimes these get wore out and they don't go up and down because the float gets saturated. And the other part is, is your socks. Let's keep good fuel going in. But look at this. That's the key. It's going to yeah. crumble in our hands. Oh, wow. And that was a piece of hose. That was a filter, basically? No, that was just a piece Where of Where was that hose going to, though? It was just It was just going, it went turned like that, It was though. just making it longer so it would To turn. touch the bottom, very bottom yeah. of it, yeah. Because this one don't have So it salt. floats kind of like a toilet thing does to tell you the volume. Yeah, well, we can tell. You know, where's the electronical part of it, though? Yeah, is that what's right covered there. here, real covered this up? This is all ran up yeah. there by juice and more juice. But look, though, that's heavily secured. Right, look right. how they got that secure. And you can check it out by with an ohm meter. By, if it gives by, you what, zero ohms. Well, it should be zero one. Zero ohms. Pull back down to so many ohms. Just okay. so that it varies. But here's the problem. You don't know about this. This right here, boot. But no, you can check it by floating in in some type of other uh, solvent, I'm sure. No, you we can add Water. So many some, it should float. We can put some another the thing that floats on there for real. Let's see if it does. Man, that sure But that's, yeah, up. so that was going through our uh, fuel right there. That one thing alone. And that's not even talking about what was in the tank. That shit was going right up in the hose, yep. right up in there. Take your light. Every time it sucked off, it did that. You see that? So no wonder there was so much problem. So you look in there, hold it. I got the camera. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh no, dude. No. It was like cancer down there. Or even though you can't see it, just hold it. I can see it. Oh man, it's terrible. Oh, it's terrible, Gary. Yeah. You see that? <gasps> Look, I see a lot you see of that? It. Look. Wow. You see that grease down in there, dude? That's rust that you're seeing. Yeah. Make sure you um 
when you do this you're going to make sure that you um clean the entire tank you want to make sure you clean the outside all of the uh it's best to have it sandblasted we're not going that far with it but we're going to etch it out and we're going to definitely sand it on the outside we're going to um use a erratic on the inside we're believing but we'll cover it in the next tutorial but uh this is how you would remove the send unit and the float from a 85 fuel tank